I want you to ask yourself something. How many people do you know? Think all the way back from your childhood all the way up to this point in your life right now. How many friendships and associates have you collected? Now, you may not be able to come up with an exact number. Matter of fact, you won't. But you'll at least be able to have a ratio put out. Now, if your friends, if most of your friends are only from your neighborhood, the classes that you had in school, and the jobs that you had in your period of working, you, my friend, have got some social growing to do. This is a big world, and it's filled with many different people, and they all have a link to something that could help somebody else. So why not use that link? Why not use those links? Find out what's good with these people, what they what they have, what they're good at, you know, what could be of use to you, what could be of use to somebody else. You don't have to necessarily become friends with these people, you know. It's more about making connections. That's what makes the globe run. It, it's not about making friends, it's more about making connections. So try to find ways to be more social when you're out and about in this world. Try to cover a lot of ground. You know, go outside of your city limits. Go outside of your state. Leave your country. There's a lot of people in this world. And everyone cross paths for a reason. So don't just bump heads with people and ignore them. Don't neglect your opportunity to speak with them and find out what you can use them for, what they can use you for. You know, here in Miami, a lot of people have this attitude that they're not friendly. Let me tell you, that's not going to get you anywhere in life. Being, being someone that's not friendly, that's stupid. Now, not being friendly decreases your sources. So, when you're short of sources, you're short of opportunities. You're short of what you need to get by. Or shall I say, you're short of getting more. You're short of growing. So, use those sources. Be open to speak freely with these people when you meet, when you, when you're bumping into them. You know, and all it takes is just to be open, be pleasant, and make yourself useful to people. You know, I'm sorry that Miami is a city where there's a lot of shady, shysty people, but the world doesn't run that way. That's just a small area, a small bump on the earth. Everyone doesn't operate that way. I've observed a certain behavior out of people. And when people are in situations where they're only going to be around each other for a few hours, they're not so open and socialized. They're not looking to make friends. They just try and mind their own business. But once they get into closed spaces and they have to be around each other for more than two or three days, they actually open up and they they link up to do more personal things together. You can do these same things within 30 minutes of meeting someone. All you have to do is find their interests, have a pleasant personality, and make up come up with a proposition. You know, make yourself useful have a source to offer them you know and just as well as meeting someone within two or three days or whatever you can do the same thing in two two hours 30 minutes whatever the case may be but you cross paths with people for a reason you know an example of what I just said say you went to a club and you know you're trying to hit it off with a girl or a guy or whatever the case may be they may not be so open to speak with you for whatever reason it may be that they're just not interested in you or that they're just not interested in socializing they just want to have a good time and enjoy themselves by themselves now if you meet these same people say at work or maybe in class at school you know let two or three days pass by they're going to be open to socialize with you because they're trapped in your boundary. They have to communicate with you at some point. 
Now, whether they can, whether they decide to continue with you, that's their choice. But I've noticed that that's that's kind of a common science of how things work between humans. Think about all of the people that you dated. Now think about how far you went to be with these people. You know, say this is your husband, your wife, or just, you know, the number of people that you've met in your lifetime and dated. Were they all in a 10 mile radius? Were they all from your neighborhood? If so, you got some social glory to do. You need to move around. You need to leave your city or leave at least leave your, leave your neighborhood, you know. But I would say leave your city, leave your country, leave your state, you know. Because the people in your same radius, you're not going to find too many different personalities. It's not going to be too much different. Everybody's pretty much the same in the same areas. So I would say spice it up, shake it up. Go find someone outside of what you're used to with behavior outside of what you're used to, you know. Your husband or your wife does not have to come from the same neighborhood. That's very boring. It's very typical. You know, the more you see, the more you'll know. The more you explore, the more you learn. So I say open yourself up. Don't be so closed-minded. Find out what's new. Find out what's better. Find out how you can be useful and what you can make use of. Be more social.